Orchid Society is getting into the Halloween spirit for their annual orchid show and sale this weekend. And joining us now from the Orchid Society is Sharon Neff. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Catherine. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Before we talk about this big sale and show this weekend, can you just tell us a little bit about the Orchid Society here? Our Orchid Society, the Eastern Iowa Orchid Society, has about 50 members, and we've put on this show now. This will be our 11th year. Yes, and it's full of people who love orchids, but do you have to know a lot about orchids to join the society? Our membership is made up of people who have one orchid that they bought at the grocery store uh -huh. and professional growers and some uh, international judges. Yeah. So we have a really wide variance in our membership and uh, it's all based on our love of orchids. And tell us about the four that you brought today. I brought this little garden group here today because there are a variety of orchids. This is the common phalaenopsis mm -hmm. that you'll see at the big box stores, but this is a miniature phalaenopsis, so it's the same type of plant. You know that these um, uh, grow from a central stem and the roots and the, the blooming spike come from the central stem. Mm -hmm. They come in all colors and they're very easy to take care of. That's a good thing. <laughs> this is a Paphiopetalum, or a lady slipper orchid, mm -hmm. and you can see the lovely pouch that it has. Yes. And this grows completely differently, but it's also easy to grow. It grows, each plant grows and flowers and then dies, but a new plant grows next to it. So you can see there are old bloomed plants in here and a new plant getting ready to bloom after this one's done. And this one is native to Iowa? Is there that are right? native lady slippers in Iowa, yes. Okay. And it's a, it's a, not common, but in the, in the woods, undisturbed woods. That would be very exciting to find one. Yes, it would. <laughs> and it's, yes, it's a very unique. I don't know if we can zoom out a little bit with this guy has a really unique bloom. Is it's, that? Yes. Yeah. The blossom. There we go. Yes. And it's a the lovely blossom. little pouch. Very cool. And then this one. What and is? this is a cochleata, which means cockle shell. And mm -hmm. you can see the delicate little blossoms on that are shaped like a cockle shell. And this has a different blooming habit. You can see it has old bloomed. Uh, corms, but it also, the new one that blooms will continue to bloom so that you see it has two flowers on it now and a bud for the next one and they will just keep budding and budding and budding on this particular efflorescence uh, and it can go as long as a year. Really? Blooming on the same spike that will come up and up and up. What's your number one tip for taking care of an orchid? Don't water too much. Don't water too much. All right, let's talk about this show happening tomorrow and oh, Sunday. Yes. Tell us about Orchids Are a Scream. Well, we, it, we do a Halloween themed. It uh -huh. is that time of year and it makes it a lot of fun. We have uh, groups coming from all over the Midwest, like our group, that bring their orchids to compete. Okay. So they're judged by American Orchid Society judges. Oh, cool. And then each group's display is judged mm -hmm. separately. So, and when you come, you can vote for People's Choice Award. And it's free admission to come and look at these gorgeous displays. It's free, we give free advice. You can learn all you wanna learn about orchids. You can smell all of them, the wonderful yes. fragrances. There is 25,000 different species of orchid and over 150,000 hybrids. We won't have them all there, but <laughs> we'll, have, a lot of we'll have a really big uh, variety of shape, size, color, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions of yours. And what about vendors? Will people be selling orchids there? Oh yes, we have four vendors who come selling orchids and orchid related items. Um, and uh, if you just fall in love with one, then you can take it home. And can you join the society? Uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, We'd I'm... love to see everyone come and enjoy the orchids with us. It, it's a great, uh, one lady last year said that it was the highlight of her year. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> it sounds like a really beautiful, fun event. Thank you so much for being here. Go see them Saturday, Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Yes, all the information is on their website and their Facebook page as well. Thank mm -hmm. you, Sharon. Thank you for having me. I all love right. to talk about orchids. I know, me too now. <laughs> You'll have to come back.